Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Today we're gonna to be doing this 2021 Z71 Chevy Silverado. We're gonna be doing some amp and subs in this. This particular vehicle does not have bows, so this is gonna be a little different for us. We're used to doing these with the bows already installed, so this one actually has what I would call the non-bows normal system in it. So we're gonna be adding two subs, two tens, and an amp to it, so we'll see what it sounds like and show you guys how to do all that. This is the radio that he has in their stock. And as you can see on the doors, it does not say anything about bows. So we're gonna show you how to do all this. Now on this particular vehicle, he does not have the part that comes out here, which is kind of odd, but especially being a Z71, but we'll show you what the subwoofer enclosure looks like installed. So with this particular enclosure, you're gonna have to remove this because it's gotta slide back into here. So this has definitely gotta be moved. Here's the box in here. Fits really nice, looks really nice. It's a little tougher to get your hands on the carpeted ones versus the ones that are um, rhino line. The rhino line ones are much cheaper, much easier to get your hands on, but carpeted ones are a little tougher to get your hands on. So I think they look a lot nicer. Customer wanted it to match the carpet here. So that's what we went for. Here's the inside of the box. It's very well made. Very well made. Got a bump out here. Put our terminals back here. I can't remember if this is straight through. I believe it is. Nope, it is sectioned off, so it's even straight uh, structure braced in the middle. So it's really nice. It's a nice box. All right, this is the driver's side right here. We pulled all this up where you're green and then a green with the black stripe and they're cross braided together in this harness right here is what you want to tap into for your high to low. We're also running our four gauge down this side so the four gauge runs all the way up. And this is the high to low we're going to be using which is an SNI 35 from PAC. This is what we pretty much use on all of our high to low installs. Here's our line output converter or high to low with our RCA's plugged in. And then we are tapped into our wire right here and we're gonna run our RCA to the rear. This is where we're gonna run right here. There's a little lug that sticks out right here. I'll show you after we put it in here. That's where we're gonna run our remote wire to. And here's the remote wire plugged in. Is on the passenger side fuse box on the side of the dash. All right, we've got everything installed. We've got the amp sitting back here, we've got our power ground and remote, we've got our speaker wires connected over to our speaker terminals. This is our base now for our audio dynamics amp and our RCAs. We're going to make this amp go back underneath here. I just want to kind of show you outside, and then we have our speaker wires running to each part of our sub box. So now we're just gonna get all the wiring looking really nice as much as we can, and then we're gonna put this amp back here. Here's where we ran the power wire all the way over to the driver's side. Ran it down through the grommet down in there. If you look at the battery, it's 
connected underneath here, right here to this lug here, just like we done on the last one. All right, here's with the seat down, and we had the amp up there. And here's the sub enclosure underneath here. And the seat is down, sits right there on top of it. Looks really nice when it's all installed. Thank <laughs> you.